Minecon. For as long as Minecraft has been around, Minecon has often been a staple for what Minecraft does right. In the earlier days of the game, it was all about meeting up with your fellow crafters in person and getting to experience a genuinely fun event that brought people and players together from around the world in some pretty amazing places. In 2010, the first unofficial gathering was known as MinecraftCon, with only about 30 people in a park in Bellevue, Washington, and the first first official Minecon being held in Las Vegas, the second being held in Paris, France's Disneyland, the third being held in Orlando, Florida, and the fourth being held in London, and then the fifth and final in-person Minecon being held in Anaheim, California. And since 2017, Minecon has taken a new shape as being an interactive live stream experience that everybody can enjoy in a plethora of different ways. The new event was dubbed Minecon Earth, being held for two years in a row. And now, some slight changes have been made, with Mojang announcing some interesting news regarding every Minecrafter's favorite event. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. On May 17th, 2019, and also the 10th anniversary of Minecraft in general, Mojang took to the internet to announce Minecon Earth's return, but with a few tweaks. Instead of being known as Minecon Earth, Minecon's new name has been changed once again. And now, and hopefully this one sticks, we've officially been introduced to Minecon Live. Put simply, the name has been changed so that Mojang and Minecraft fans can avoid some confusion with their upcoming mobile AR game known as Minecraft Earth, which for all intents and purposes, we will discuss in a future video coming fairly soon. Going on though, Mojang has announced some interesting bits about Minecon Live, some straightforward and some that we're definitely gonna take a couple of guesses on. And as far as guessing goes, you know that we're gonna try our best. So let's start with the prediction. Within the announcement trailer, after they announce that the event is now called Minecon Live instead of Minecon Earth, the first mob in the trailer, aside from the pig that we can see, is the Enderman. The director of the production states, big star coming in, zero eye contact. He banters with the Enderman about relaxing and getting started. With easily the most effects in the entire trailer being given to the Enderman, I genuinely wouldn't doubt if this is Mojang's way of confirming that we're gonna be getting that end update. But if you need some more convincing, on May 5th, they posted an image stating the end never yields enough adequate resources, sadly. Grabbing the first letter of each word in that tweet and putting them together spells out 10 years. In that image, they show Alex and Steve wearing full diamond armor and an elytra, which is currently impossible in the game. At Minecon Live, I genuinely bet that we'll be seeing some form of end update features. While most most of the other mobs in the video are just there for the jokes, I do think that the Enderman could be as well. This might have been just a slight nod to show that the real star of the 1.15 update is going to be the Enderman. But again, it's all speculation. So within the trailer, after the Enderman scares the directors, he drops his papers, and when he does, he picks up one that states Lydia is back to present with all new co-hosts. So there you go. Lydia is the host of Minecon once again. Being the chief brand officer of Mojang and having hosted previous Minecraft related events in the past, she's honestly the perfect choice in this case. She knows the game, she knows the community, and she brings up a fun energy that a lot of the Minecraft community definitely appreciates. It also states that co-hosts will be attending, which if I had to guess, might be other content creators from the Minecraft community, much like the previous years of Minecon Earth. So that's good to know. But in my opinion, hopefully they can find some co-hosts that are as good as last year's. So after that piece of information, a teleprompter falls to the ground, announcing news and updates, panels are back, and vote for a biome. So just like last year, we'll be hearing about future Minecraft updates, and in this case, 1.15. Creator-made panels are also going to be released, much like the one that I released for Mojang last year about breaking Minecraft, which if you haven't seen that one, and I highly recommend that you do because a lot of work went into it, 
you can check it out in the card on the top right of the screen. And once again, we'll be voting for a biome, much like we did with 1.14's edition of content surrounding the taiga biome. Whether or not we'll be voting between the savanna and desert from last year, or entirely new biomes, I'm not exactly sure. Whatever the case may be though, more interaction and opinions from the community about updates is always a good thing. That's definitely something that Mojang and Minecon has gotten right. After announcing all of that, they also announced that Minecon Live will be streamed on September 28th, 2019 at 12 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. On top of all of the information that you might want, you can also head over to minecraft.net slash minecon. Heading onto the website, it specifies a few specific things. One, it states that Minecon Live will be filmed live and beamed across the world via the internet. It will be around 90 minutes long, packed with juicy Minecraft news, content creators, and will include pre and post show bits, as well as on-demand community panels pretty much exactly like 2018. They also state that you can watch on pretty much any device, phones, tablets, PCs, game consoles, this website, as well as a bunch of others. The bunch of others, presumably meaning YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and more. Again, just like last year, not a whole lot is changing here. And with that, we've reached the end of what we're going to talk about regarding everything that was announced. Well, almost. We've got a few more final guesses. Alright, well, these aren't so much guesses, but more so dead giveaways if you've been keeping up with Minecraft's development over the last year or so. When the director finally gives up, he says to just put all the information up on the title card. After the title card is brought up and then eventually dropped, two new creatures are shown on screen. A pig covered in mud with a flower on its head on the top right, and to the left, a little yellow character with a key-shaped head. If you've not been paying much attention to things outside of the base game, these probably look a little bit confusing or mysterious, and for good reason. Not only are these not a part of the base game, but they're not even a part of the same games. Firstly, the pig is from the advertising for Minecraft's upcoming new mobile game, Minecraft Earth, and the little yellow key guy is known for his notably short appearance in the announcement trailer for Minecraft Dungeons. Both of these characters are from their own separate games, which leads me to believe that not only will we be hearing about the base game of Minecraft, but also Minecraft spin-offs, and hopefully we'll receive release dates for both, because I genuinely couldn't be more excited. And now, we're done. And while I've got you guys here, I might as well air out some of my opinions. Minecon Live does sound fun. Minecon Earth was fun. Myself and Michael McChill both went to the very first Minecon Earth and got to attend a Minecon Earth party in Boston at the Prudential Center. And funny enough, that's actually where we both first met for the first time, was going to Minecon Earth together. And it was genuinely a blast. Then I got to attend the live taping of Minecon Earth 2018, and once again, I enjoyed myself a ton, especially because for this one, I was also there to film my panel as well. But those are isolated experiences that obviously not the majority of the people will be experiencing. If I'm being honest, a regular Minecon would genuinely be a much more welcomed addition for me anyways. If I had my ideal situation, I would personally love to see a mix, a main event, which is then supplemented by different tiers of in Microsoft Store events. If there's a main convention in LA, for example, aka a regular Minecon, a few select areas around the country and around the world could have some events involving a YouTuber at Minecon Live events. The event could be beamed into the stores, much like it was for all of the Minecon Earths. And then those stores could also have some fun, whether there be some kind of a remote Q&A during a primary Minecon panel or whatever, and then all the other stores do some sort of in-store event that doesn't have direct interaction with the main event. I'd love to see the regular Minecon brought back, but I guess I'm not going to complain when they could just take away Minecon Live entirely, though I doubt they ever will. Just some food for thought. 
But aside from all of that, what do you guys think about Minecon Live? Do you guys think that it's going to be fairly good or do you think it's going to be unexceptional? Are you excited for any potential Minecraft Dungeons or Minecraft Earth news? Let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.